Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Thanks for joining me today. Today I will be showing you a real-time tutorial of drawing very little small fuzzy feathers on this bee eater bird that I finished um, last month in July. It was a full color pencil tutorial for Patreon, so the full process is available to watch on there. And in this video you'll be able to see the process of drawing the head feathers. So everything around the eye. And um, yeah, I hope you'll enjoy. I hope you'll find it interesting. So let me know if you have any questions below in the comments. And as always, I'll be working with Faber-Castell Polychromos and a white car and dash to blend on Canson 1557 paper. So I hope you'll enjoy and let's continue with the tutorial. Then we're going to start on the feathers. On the head so first I make sure to erase most of the outlines again make sure you don't see them and then we're going to get started with some blue so around the eye you see some blue so let's see which blue fits that area let's go for Light Thalo Blue 145. Make sure to work in light layers, so don't press too much yet. Just add a bit, then you can always add more. Follow the direction of the feathers. that's continuing around the eye as well and then also right here along this edge then I also see some turquoise so I'm going to add some turquoise or cobalt green in this case 156 to get that greenish tone in there. Also, I'm going to add some of the shadows behind the feathers. Then taking that upwards a little bit. A little bit right here as well. And then some grass green 166 because above that blue you see a little bit of green so I'm adding that on top of the blue and then taking it upwards as well and I'm drawing very small little lines to indicate the direction of the feathers a little bit right here not too much Make sure there are no harsh lines anywhere. All right, and then um, let's also add this dark patch next to the eye. And there I see quite a lot of color, so I'm not going to add any black there for now. I am going to add dark indigo first, 157. Adding that, just a light layer going in that direction of the growth of the feathers, so a bit horizontally. can darken up this line a little bit make sure that that light blue pops out nicely and then the blue continues to about there
bit above the eye as well to make that transition from the blackness around the eye into the feathers. All right, then on top of that blue, I'm going to add Caput Morton Violet. This is going to give it a very nice deep color. I want to keep this drawing nice and soft, so not too many harsh lines. Nice colors. Do want a bit more black right here. So I'm adding some more black. A little bit more blue. I'm going to add some sky blue on top of these light blue feathers. Really nice color. And I'm going to burnish this area just slightly. So with pretty light pressure. And then I can go on top with dark indigo again to create some texture. Just drawing lines. Alright, looking nice. Moving on to that yellow area on the chin. This graphite line can be erased. Alright, so let's get started with the lightest yellow from the Fabric Estelle set, and that's going to be light yellow glaze. There's also a cream color, I believe. Hmm. No, I think light yellow, light yellow glaze 104 is going to be light enough. So I'm going to use that to put down a light base layer on this chin area. And we have a white spot here at the end, so I'm not going to put down any yellow right there. Very nice color. And then on the edge, um, I do need to erase those lines. Completely erase my graphite lines because you're going to see them through this yellow. It's too, um, too light, this yellow, to cover the graphite. Going to put some more pressure on the ends. And create some of the feathers sticking out from the bottom.
will be working on this transition from the beak into the feathers a bit more later. I do want a base layer first. All right, and then I need a darker yellow, slightly darker. This is cadmium yellow 107. I'm going to add it to the bottom part. <sighs> Whoops. So I'm creating some texture with that. Drawing some lines, some of the feather lines. And I'm basically drawing the shadows in between the feathers now. Just the same way as I would draw the shadows in between hairs or clumps of fur, if I draw fur. a little bit of this yellow right there on the head I really love working with all these nice colors I'm going to leave this white spot open for now Maybe in the end I will add some gray to it, but for now I leave it white. I'm going to move on to um, an orangey yellow. So this is dark chrome yellow 109, which is again a little bit darker than the previous color. Sharpen it. Now with that, I'm also going to add some shadows, and especially on the bottom. bit more of the light yellow I'm going to use dark indigo to put some more work in all these tiny little feathers sticking out from the beak Alright, let's move on with the feathers on the top of the head and those have a really nice coppery color so I'm going to get started with burnt ochre 107 no it's not it's 187 and I'm going to put down a base layer with that so you really have to look closely at the direction of the follow uh, the feathers here going upwards a little bit making sure to not push too hard
right, so these feathers are curving around the head towards the back, going downwards. Keep it nice and light and feathery. Let's take that burnt ochre down a little bit. All right, so that's the first layer. I also see a little bit of red in there or pink. So I'm going to add a layer of medium flesh, 131. I see the reddish hue mainly here on the edges of the feathers, so I'm adding it a little bit right here and a little bit on here on the shoulder area as well. And then I am going to add a bit of burnt sienna for the reddish hue in there and to put in some darker shadows as well. And burnt sienna is number 283. And now I'm going around these green and yellow areas carefully, adding some darker shadows, some darker feathers. I'm cross hatching a little bit to get that feathery texture in there. I'm just randomly adding some lines. It's 
get a bit of contrast in there. Let's leave it at that. I'm going to add some Caput Mortem as well. Especially here. Caput Mortem Violet, I mean. Right here. Alright, so now I need more saturation. Like I need more red or orange. Um, I think Sanguine will look nice. So I'm going to add Sanguine 188. Adding some more pressure as well. Right, so I'm just slowly building these colors up. Now I've added this layer, I feel I need more contrast again, so I need more darkness. So let's add a bit more Capital Mortem Violet. This color basically fits with everything, I really like it.
Okay, I need more saturation, more color. Let's go with a layer of burnt ochre again. The one I started with. And just slowly build this up. And then maybe a bit of light, uh, no, medium flesh again. To not lose a nice pink hue in there as well. Then more sanguine. Now I'm starting to increase my pressure. Maybe a bit of um, cadmium orange, 115. A bit more brightness in there. And then also let's add some red. Some deep scarlet red, 219. In the shadow parts mainly. Alright, I'm starting to get the tone that I'm looking for now. Not completely there yet. Almost. It's time to get started with the burnishing now. So I take my Karen Dosh, making sure that the tip is clean. And then I'm going to burnish in the direction of the growth of the feathers. Right, let's see. A bit more sanguine. And then back to a bit of burnt sienna to increase the contrast again. Mainly adding more darkness in the shadow areas around the eye and around the cheek.
Okay, I think we're almost there. Um, let's see, do I need some more color? Yeah, a little bit more burnt ochre. So I don't want to add too many layers on this area because I want to keep it nice and light and feathery. I don't want to make it too dense looking. So I'm probably just going to keep it at this, adding some final dark shadows with burnt sienna. And I'm going to move on. Maybe a tiny bit of walnut brown right here at the start. Maybe some more brightness just above the eye in that blue area. Yes, let's add some more light phthalo blue. And then some more of that cobalt green. A bit more pressure this time. Then on the edge between the orange feathers and the blue feathers, a bit more grass green. Alright, so that concludes this video for today. I hope you find you found it helpful. If you have any questions, as always, leave them below in the comments. Let me know what you think of this drawing. And I really enjoyed making it. I don't draw too many um, colorful birds, but I really want to do them more often because they're really, really fun. And I also have some really fun drawings coming up. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next week's video on Thursday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.